everyone, welcome back to my channel to another video. Sorry about my voice, I'm kind of sick today. You guys are always asking me for more tutorials. The truth is I only have like three makeup looks that I do, but I do have like an updated kind of everyday makeup tutorial. Um, the other makeup tutorial that I posted that was every day isn't on my channel anymore so i thought it'd be perfect that i'm able to post an everyday makeup tutorial you guys can really see how i do my makeup for work or when i'm just hanging out with my friends or when i'm literally just hanging out i just got back from vacation so i'm a little bit more tan so that that's what gave me the push to film today i was like i'm a little more tan i don't look too crazy without makeup on camera yes i'm filming differently today i'm moving as you guys know i've mentioned in other videos so this is the background of my parents' bedroom because there's good lighting that comes into here. Um, so without further ado, uh, I'm going to start this video. Before we started, can you please remember to subscribe, like down below, and comment any suggestions you have. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to moisturize. I don't use primer. I don't see the point in it. And everyone's like, you need primer, but I honestly don't see the point in it. So I use the Drunk Elephant Whipped Cream. So I have a little sample of it. I'm actually going to purchase a big one because I loved it. It's pricey, so I was like, I'm going to use a sample. So I just put that everywhere because I am starting to get a little dry because of the weather. So I just really focus that on the parts that are a little more dry, like my nose. Oh, yeah, let's just get that in my hair too. The next thing we're going to do is we're not going to do my eyes. I feel like on people, it's easier for me to do their eyes first, but on myself, I do my eyes last because I'm not messy and it's such a simple eye makeup look. The foundation that we're using today is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Classic Beige. This foundation is so affordable and so, like for the price, I think it's $8. It's like high end. It feels to me just as good as the, the Luminous Silk. I'm not even joking. And for the price, like I'll wear this every day and then the Luminous Silk when I'm like, going on like going out or going for dinner or something today i'm doing absolutely nothing so i was like okay i'll just use this foundation so i'm really happy that i can give you guys like affordable options that you guys can go out and buy this i purchased at walmart not all walmarts do have it but the, the one that i do purchase this at is the one in veal saint laurent if you guys want to go pick that up if you guys live in montreal so i just kind of put that everywhere <laughs> And I'm going to take a beauty blender and the thing about this foundation is I usually don't swipe with my beauty blender But this foundation I find it applies better if I do so so I'm gonna swipe Because there's so much light coming in on me right now I'm like, wow, my pores are huge. <laughs> it's like that scene of like Mean Girls where they're like, my pores are huge. As soon as you have that all blended in, you're gonna go with your concealer. So the one I'm using today, I picked up in Miami and it's a, I waited so long for this concealer, like so long. And it's the Shape Tape. And I'm so happy with it, honestly. Like I, I was like, it's probably not even that good. Like it's so good. It gives you such a flawless canvas. Yeah, mine is in medium. I do find it a little yellow. But once you blend it out, it's good. And a little goes a long way with this. Like I'm only gonna, I only put my thing in, in I only put it in twice. And it's good to like cover all my imperfections. I have like a birthmark that shows up with the sun there all the time. So now we're just gonna blend that in. I use the other side to blend. You guys should comment down below like your favorite concealers because I'm really in the market for like concealers go by so fast that I'm always looking for new ones especially with clients not everyone is gonna have the skin type for type of concealer some are too oily some are too dry so I'm always always looking for new concealers so if you do have any suggestions comment them down below Once that's all blended, I'm going to go in with contour. The contour I'm going to be going in with is these the Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Stick. So I have them in three shades. The shade that I'm using today is contour. Hmm. So I can't find a sharpener in my house for shit. So this one's like literally 
look at this. So I'm just gonna attempt to make it good. That's just how much I do contour on my cheeks. I don't like to go deeper than that or else it kind of starts looking weird. Like that to me is perfect. And I'm just gonna go on, I always go on the side of my forehead to make my forehead kind of like smaller and more narrow. I don't go on the top, I don't like that. I go on the ends of my nose. I don't really mind my nose, so I don't try to like make it smaller or anything. Do you hear any noise in the background? My brother's home, so he's probably making a lot of noise. I do apologize if so. Actually, I'm gonna link below. I have another video, and <laughs> in the background, my brother's singing opera, like at a random part, and I'm gonna link it down below. It's the funniest thing ever, and I just realized I'm talking to you guys like this, but it's so funny. People were texting me after I posted that, like my friends, and they were like, go to minute, whatever so funny and i had no idea like i was editing it i didn't even realize because my brother sings opera not professionally but like he just enjoys singing opera okay now we can go in and bake i'm gonna use the covergirl professional loose powder i bake underneath my eyes to make sure that you don't have any creases when you're doing this because i just blended i don't have any creases but blend out your creases before putting on your loose powder talk about this loose powder for a second actually so this loose powder is about twelve dollars tax in and nobody gives it recognition like I've watched so many YouTube videos and nobody talks about this loose powder and I would never lose use a loose powder that gives me flashback or anything like that because I, I if you guys follow me on Instagram like I love taking pictures and I do people's like wedding makeup like and I use this stuff like it's just such good powder and nobody talks about it and I swear to god like I've never tried the Laura Mercier because I don't feel the need to like I've tried it once and I was like whatever like I really don't think it's that good and I think this is just as good and if you guys are in the market for any loose powder go check that out I'm using the little bronzer and I'm just going over contour and bronzing up like this and I have a pimple that does not want to be unseen. So sorry about that. You guys don't want to see my pimple. And I always go downwards on my neck with the bronzer because I forget to put my foundation down. And then I just have like two random colors and it forces me to wear a turtleneck to work. Hmm. I love how it's like minus 40 outside and I'm doing this tutorial in like a crop top and I'm like, I'm obviously not wearing this today. <laughs> okay then. Now we can go into the eyes. So for the eyes today, I have this self-made palette. Um, I believe I bought this on eBay for like two dollars. I just put all of my shades in there. So I don't know what these are called, but I will link them link them down below. But they're two Anastasia Beverly Hills shades. One of them is like Kind of brown and the other one is more orange peachy so i'm just gonna mix those two and put it in my crease that's literally what i'm doing guys i do not do more than this especially when you have eyelash extensions it looks very harsh to wear a full eye makeup look so i'm just gonna go in my crease with it and this brush is a random brush if you're wondering the other brush that i use is real techniques So that's really what I'm gonna do for my eyes, like fully. I'm not doing more than that. So as we're waiting another few minutes for our bake to bake, we're gonna use the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter and I'm going to go on my brow bone.
I put also a highlight on the bridge of my nose. Um, I only do one stroke here and one stroke here, and then some on my cupid's bow. Now I'm going to wipe off the bake with the Real Techniques brush. Now what I'm going to do is I'm taking the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette. It's my favorite palette. Like everyone's like, it's not that nice. It's too dark. But I love this palette for the simple fact that this color right here is like the greatest bronzer and blush ever. It makes your cheekbones like illuminated. Like I just put them on my cheekbones and I go all the way up here. Do you see the difference in my cheekbone already? I just find it like if you like a glowy dewy look, it's perfect. the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit in Radiant. Now I'm gonna brush my brows with this BH Cosmetics Brow Brush. I don't fill in my brows anymore. And for lips, I'm going in with the Melted Too Faced Matte in Cool Girl. I use my finger and rub it everywhere. And then on top of that, we're going to put the Marc Jacobs Gloss in Sugar Sugar. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment any suggestions you have below for upcoming videos. See you guys next time.